Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 189. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Tricks 185 to 202. Hey, we have a simple one, a simple problem here. Um, we have start date, end date, and we want to count all the days, not Sunday. Well, um, we've seen this trick a few times in videos here at Excel is Fun. We have two dates and we need to ha somehow create all the dates in between so we can analyze them. True, false. Is it a non-Sunday? The way, uh, one excellent way to do that is to use row and indirect. So let's just look at that first. Equals row and then indirect. Indirect. Now, indirect function takes a text string and converts it to a reference. So let's just see what happens if I click here. Ampersand to join in quotes, colon, end quote, double quote. Ampersand this. What I've done is because dates are really not dates like this, they're serial numbers underneath. This is a number. It's uh, probably 38,900 something. That's the number of days since January, uh, December 31st, 1899. So that's a serial number and that's a serial number. Well, by combining them with a colon, that, those are rows. It says row this, to, it's actually highlighting all the rows from this to this. The indirects converts this text to the actual row reference and then the row converts it to the numbers. So let's just see how this works. This is a clever way to get all of the dates, serial dates, between two inputs, start and end. I'm going to hit F9. Oh, uh, we have a problem somewhere. Oh, I forgot the last parentheses. Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, see these serial dates. I'm going to hit F9, which is evaluate, and there they are. From there to there, Control Z. Now, that won't do it because we want to count non-Sundays. Well, since these are now uh, an array of serial numbers that represent dates, we can use the weekday function. What does the weekday function do, do? Well, it tells us whether it is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7. Now, there's a bunch of numbering schemes, so that's why there's a return type. If you want to um, go to help for weekday, it'll tell you all the different types. I'm just going to do comma 2. That's the one I like because if you put a 2 as the second argument here, then Monday is 1, Tuesday is 2, and Sunday is 7. So now, we, um, if we were to highlight this and to uh, F9 it, it would just give us all the days. There's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday. Oh, very clever. That's an array of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Control Z to undo that. So now all we have to do to get our trues and falses is not, which is less than, greater than, not 7. So now we get a bunch of trues and falses, right? Uh, F9, and there they are. Only the falses come out as a Sunday, which what we're, we're trying to do is get a bunch of trues for everything but Sunday. Control Z. Finally, we need to uh, do something with this to get to add them together and a 1. I'm going to start off with sum. And then if, so if, oh, and we already just saw that those are trues and falses. So the value of true, I'll put comma, is 1. The value if false is 0. I'll close parentheses on the if, and now it's the sum. So see what happens is the if will deliver 1s and zeros, the sum will add it up. Now this is an array, but before you do that, simply copy this because I will show you a second method. Control C. But here it is, an array, Control Shift Enter. 31. Now here's um, a different way, and some people like to avoid doing arrays, equals sum product. We'll paste uh, inside of parentheses our uh, true false generator for not, not Sunday, and I'll put a close parentheses, and how do we convert trues and falses to ones and zero? There's a couple different ways. I like multiply by one. Um, if you go to the Mr. Mr. Excel discussion board, they always like putting double negative in front. All right, so then close parentheses on that, and then the sum product, uh, since this will this is an array, and sum products can deal with arrays without Control Shift Enter, it'll take uh, we've converted them all to ones and zeros, so we'll add them. I just hit Enter here. There's another a formula here. Um, if you like this one, it's the same exact one as here, except for I use the text function. 
uh, with a text format and sun. Not I, I think I like this one first. This is uh, the one I tend to do, but I kind of like this one right here. This is an adaptation of one I saw at the Mr. Excel discussion board. Now, if that's not enough, three different ways, here's the link, and here are all the different formulas if you download this workbook, um, including one from Houdini, not Aladdin, but Houdini, this one, just unbelievable, and it even explains it over here. So, and there's the link. All right, not Sundays? All right, we'll see you next trick.